All right, welcome to the travel vlog video for my trip to Bandon Dunes. And the reason I want to do this type of video is for a couple reasons. For people that come across my videos and they've never been to Bandon Dunes, they can uh, watch the video and say, okay, uh, now I see what I need to pack and why. Because I've watched a couple other videos that, and what, uh, read some forums online that talk about uh, things you need and and so I enjoyed those and I want to share that with with everyone for the people that have been to Bandon Dunes make comments below and uh, give more information for the people that are watching this video that might help them on their trip to get uh, you know to be better prepared so in this early part of the video what I'm doing right now is I am going through my golf bag and emptying it out and uh, gonna make it lighter for the caddy I've been to Pinehurst and I came I played in a tournament out there and the first day I used a cart with my cart bag, which was heavy. And when I walked Pinehurst number two, that caddy goes, can I switch everything out? And I said, yeah, no problem. So that's why I'm cleaning the, the bag out and I'm gonna show you what I've done and things I'm gonna take, things that I'm not gonna take. And uh, so I hope this information helps you. Here's what we're doing. Got my golf bag here. It's a carry bag. Got my white shoes, got my black shoes and I got the rain gear, and then I got the one uh, shoulder strap in case the caddy wants to use that instead of, you know, the, the double shoulder strap. And then the clubs I'm taking, I'm taking two putters with me, my lab directed force putter and my PXG double wide. And I'm also gonna take this uh, driver, uh, mini driver with me, it's 12 degrees. Uh, and I'm gonna take, I gotta take these out. I'm not gonna travel with those. I got everything out of the bag. Here's what's not going. All those golf balls. Joe the snake is not going. Yep, he's not going. I'd love to scare some people with that, but it's gonna make the bag too heavy. So as you can see, I don't need all those extra tees. They'll probably have tees at the resort. The caddy will probably have some. So I'm not gonna take all that stuff. It's gonna weigh the bag down. Cause as you know, when you travel, the golf balls weigh the bag down the most. Here is what I'm taking. Not taking the orange whip or the aiming sticks. I got a couple masks here for the traveling uh, that I'll put in another bag, my computer bag. I uh, got my scorecard holder. I'm taking a couple dozen golf balls, taking one towel. I figure the caddy will have some if to clean the clubs. I'm taking two sets of rain gloves, and then I'll probably buy newer regular golf gloves at the resort. So yeah, that's what I'm taking to make everything light in the golf travel bag as well as for the caddy. And I can take some of these clubs out when I get to the resort and leave them in my room, uh, depending on which ones I wanna use that day. So I hope you guys are finding this, uh, this interesting and helpful. So I'm also gonna film the rooms when we are at the resort, because I enjoy those videos to see the type of lodging that I'm gonna be staying in. Uh, we're staying in the inn so I'm looking forward to sharing that with you as well on this video. Hope that you find this information helpful. And again, the people that watch this video that have traveled to Bandon Dunes, you wanna add anything that you don't see in this video, any suggestions? Cause I'm also gonna show the clothing and everything that I'm gonna take uh, eventually when I start packing. So if you haven't been there, I hope this video helps you decide what you wanna take and what you don't wanna take. So anyway, people, you know, this, this channel is about bringing awareness to PTSD and the fire service, as well as my uh, first responder brother and sisters. And traveling like this with friends, and four of us are firefighters, uh, the eight, it's gonna be an epic trip um, to decompress. And for the people that have been to Bannon Dunes and the people that have researched it, you know the type of views we're gonna see. I'm excited about sharing that with people that we can build memories. And that's what it's about, using the game of golf to help me overcome you know my pts issues as well as people that come across my videos it might hit home with one person that's the mission keep hitting home with with one person at a time a bunch at a time as long as it helps someone that's the main mission of this channel and all my social media so thanks for watching all right here's segment two of the travel vlog i've got my clothes laid out here uh, i'm going to show you what i'm packing um Again, people that have been to Bandon Dunes make comments. Maybe we're gonna be packing too much, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. So uh, 
yeah, I'll just show you what I'm packing and we'll go from there. I'm probably going to carry this on, but if I have room in this hard case, and don't make fun of the pink luggage, I'm using my wife's because it's going to protect the tripods. Because I got to carry on my computer bag and I'm probably going to carry on the camera bag. But anyway, there's the Sony A6500 with the microphone charging stuff for the batteries. I got 10 batteries in here because this A6500 eats the batteries up. And then I have the charger for them. Uh, here we go. I got a couple more hats. And you saw my uh, <clears throat> foundation hat that I'm going to take. I'm taking two hoodies. I got layers for underneath the shirts you're seeing there. I'm taking five of those. I have about three or four t-shirts. Got about six pairs of pants. I'm taking two shorts because the weather report is 61, 62, maybe 63 for the five days that we're playing. Uh, I got quarter zips. And then I got long johns. Not sure I'm going to need them. And then two uh, sweat type pants. Then my socks and underwear there. Gold bond for the under uh, the under nug area. And then I also have, this is for my Achilles and my calf from my injury. Uh, toothpaste, electric razor, uh, swim trunks for the hot tub, and then the two belts. And yes, it's going in the pink suitcase. So I'll show you how I have it packed here in a few uh, seconds. Got to get it packed, then I'll be back. Okay, here's the final result. Not bad. I got both tripods in there. I didn't pack two of the underlayers or the long johns. I think I'll be fine in the morning. I'm used to the cooler weather in Kansas City in the spring and fall playing without long johns. And then I'm just going to carry on the camera equipment. But I got both tripods in there underneath some of the clothing and uh, I'm ready to go. That's what I'm packing to Bandon Dunes in a pink suitcase. At least I'll know it's my bag when it's coming around the carousel. But seriously, my bag, uh, my bag's not good to secure. It's not the hard case to secure these tripods and protect them. So, all right. Hope you uh, found good information in this video. All right. This is the day, Saturday, July 24th. We're flying out to Portland. So today's our uh, travel day. We're gonna get our rental cars around five o'clock, Portland time, and we're gonna head down to Eugene and just stay there. We don't wanna drive any further after a long travel day, so we're just gonna get up the morning of the 25th and uh, make our journey to Bandon Dunes Resort, and our tea time on the 25th of July is at 2.40. All right, here we are, Captain Brian Taylor's house picking him up we got another stop to make you've seen him on the channel before there's the son colton getting ready to leave our warm temperatures oh i know that's what i'm excited about is it's supposed to be 99 today here in kansas city kansas and the rest of the week close to you know upper 90s mid 90s so we're gonna go uh, as you know who's ever been to band of dunes where it's 62 63 all right all right all right, here we are pulling into Captain Nye's house. You've seen him on the channel. There's Ryan. You've seen him on the channel. It's hard to, it's hard to drive and film at the same time for this. Uh, there's Ryan Johnson. You've seen him on the channel. Captain Nye. We got firefighter, paramedic, because he's corrected me. I called you a paramedic just that one time. Yeah, so I, he corrected me. All right, boys. I was listening to the ocean. I saw a face in the sand. But when I picked it up, then it vanished away from my hands. Gone. I had a dream I was sad.
Here's the inn entrance. Here's your other inn. There's Joe. <laughs> the uh, the jester here at the inn. You'll see him when you stay here. Richie Nye. Richie, Richie Nye. Look at this service. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Here's the lobby at the inn. Here's the hallway to my room. All right, here's the room. You have a double. Here's the bathroom, shower, and that thing there. <laughs> Y'all know what that's for. And in the shower, you have shampoo, body wash, and conditioner, bedroom area, Got the refrigerator, computer sitting area, bag stand. There's the beds. And then we, well, TV. We are on the wood side, not the core side, but you got a nice window sitting area there if you want to utilize that. Here's the beds from this angle. And then over here, is hangers or ironing board and iron when your stuff gets wrinkled from the flight all right that's the end here at bandon dunes <laughs>